right, send them in. Your tribe wishes to do trade deals with us. Why, certainly. We have plenty of human leather to offer you. Pirates harassing your farmland, and you want to offer us some fine art to deal with them? Why, sure. I'll send my best man on it. Oh, yeah? You and what army? Yeah, so that faction and I are having a bit of a disagreement. Territory, food, you know, the usual. Please go away. I just want to do my own videos. Ren, why do you keep inviting him into our colony? Uh, this is, this is true. This is true. Factions, always important Bruh. in the world because they give your world that bit of life you need in a game. Being the savage tribals, the hostile pirates, they're usually pretty chill colonies, and of course, dickish Quack. royals. Though sometimes you want to mix it up gameplay-wise. After all, more variety means more interesting stories or people to make friends with. Or, you know, people to destroy, subjugate, or at the very least overcharge them on raider hats. So what is a faction mod? Well, a faction mod is a mod that adds a new faction to the map screen that you can interact with. A lot of race mods add factions, but not every race mod is a faction mod, if that makes sense. And of course, remember to like, subscribe, and tell us what factions we miss or should talk about in the next video. And don't forget to ring that bell. Less than 1% of you have rung the bell. Ring the bell. Back to the video. Because like race mods, faction mods do seem to keep popping up in the workshop from time to time. Also should mention, for every 10 likes this video gets, one colonist doesn't have to eat nutrient paste. Instead, they get nice healthy stew made of flesh of our enemies. Starting off, we have to mention, say it with me, Vanilla Expanded Faction. We have to keep mentioning them because if we don't, people will ask why we didn't, and for good reason. Vanilla Expanded Factions are easily some of the better mods to include in our playthroughs, like the Vikings mod, from the medieval forces that overwhelmed like tribals but are better armed and armored, to the mighty Vikings who conquer the north. The criminal bandit cowboys will quick fire guns and even deadly insectoids and mechanisms. We've gone into the Mechanoid mod in depth in a previous video, but that's not to say the other faction mods should be overlooked, each one providing new tech, new potential allies and enemies, and all around filling the gaps of the base game. Definitely faction mods to be the bar to measure other mods. And now that I'm done shilling for Oscar and his team, how about something not made by him? The next faction is the Blue Moon Corporation from the Sparkling Worlds mod set. I say mod set as the best way to play with this mod is the full mod. I like this mod for adding a good sci-fi level of tech that isn't completely overpowered. Yes, you get very nice weapons and buildings, but nothing on the level of other mods. And the Corporation is definitely a good spacer tech leveler for enemies, always spawning with good weapons, armor, and even their own personal buff on them to make them stronger. Much stronger. A lot stronger. Keep in mind, it's temporary, so if you recruit them, it will go away. This means they will test your defenses hard, though they can be a potentially good ally as they can be reasoned with, so get those offerings of raider hats ready for them. Oh, and word of advice, be prepared for raining insectoids. Yeah, that's a thing now. So from high tech to low tech, we got the Elder Faction, not Eldritch. There is a big difference. This faction uses the Anima Gear mod that works to improve on tribal psychic gameplay using the Anima Grass to make more powerful psychic gear. This faction is good for tribal playthroughs by providing Bruh. you with knowledge and items to help you with becoming a powerful tribal wizard. Though keep in mind, they hate outsiders, so you will have to work to make them happy with you and keep them happy. Just like you don't want angry furries, you don't want angry tree wizards at your doorstep. No, you don't. Absolutely not. Of course, if you want angry furries at your door, get the fairy and faction mod along with the race mod so you have dealing with fox people. Good thing they are sociable, so I'm sure you can work something out and you can start worshipping the fox. They also are agile and a bit squishy, but hey, when dealing with the horrors on the rim, plenty of your pawns are squishy. <clears throat> now here is a faction based on a game you might have heard of. But let me first tell you a story. Once upon a time, there was a man named Richard Garriott who loved tabletop gaming. He eventually gained the nickname by his friends and enemies as Lord British. Inspired by tabletop, he created one of the earliest examples of a computer RPG Ultima, and that went on to inspire many other role-playing games. It also inspired this next mod, the Ultima Faction. Still a bit of work in progress, but I would be remiss to not mention something that should get a little more attention. Adding medieval factions and races from 
from Ultima like elves, dwarves, and bobbits. Wait, what? Oh yeah, he means hobbits. With a starting scenario, that makes sense. Yeah, the race mod uses a lot of stuff from Jekyll's mods, with his permission of course, but hey, give this creator some love. But from medieval to darker sci-fi, we have the Rimsonal, the Feral, and Federation factions. These are two hostile factions you will have to work hard to survive against. The Ferals are a lovely batch of raiders who survive the harsh wasteland with scrap arms and armor and use horrifying living war machines that they create from long since malfunctioning cloning vats, which is why you should probably check out our Scavengers of the Rim playthrough series because we use a lot of these mods. This faction is a savage, monstrous, and will stop at nothing to kill you. And from scrap tech to high tech, the Federation isn't your friendly neighbor, Starfleet Federation. No, these are nearly broken Federation troops thanks to the Mechanoid Wars, and they will stop at nothing to kill you because... Uh... You're just in the way. Well, I suppose that's as good of a reason as anything. Like the Ferals, they use their own war machines in the form of strange robotic troopers, not to mention their own metal-made armors and armor, which is strong against kinetic force but falters to blood trauma. So get your clubs out and take them out. Before you ask yes, you can make them the gear. Oh, according to my writer, this bot apparently is having some issues as of right now. According to my comments on the workshop page, Ferals seem to be at least stable. So use them with caution. In any case, I do like both of these factions, adding a new thematic threat to your colony of different technology level, the designs look really good. Yeah, definitely nice. Now, if you want a super high-tech faction in your Rimworld, download the Palarizbark Security Force faction. Holy moly, these high-tech armor-wearing ladies and gentlemen are going to be your best friends when the chips are down. Armed with high-tech shield belts that permit gunfire bionics to revive them after death and plenty of laser gunfire. Stay on their good side, trust me. It's how you can get some of that gear for yourself. Though if you wish for someone to become your enemy and make your life miserable, the mech enemy mod adds more mechanoids to deal with, but also their own human force. Armed with their own super powerful weapons, you might be able to make friends with the chaser armada, but more than likely you will have to fight them. And the mechanoid enemies are also pretty powerful too. Definitely going to test your skills in dealing with them. Going to need some stronger mechanical might to deal with these forces. I suggest the might of the adeptus mechanists, who also have mods to include other Warhammer 40k factions. The Tinkerers of the Imperium, the Adeptus Mechanist, who change their weak flesh into strong machinery. The Mighty Orc Wog, who fight to live and live to fight. They may be dumb, but they know hundreds of ways to kill someone who underestimates them. The Technologically Advanced Tower, who specialize in killing from afar. They fight for the greater good, whether you like it or not. And of course, the Always in the Shadows Eldar. No, Eldar, not Eldritch or Elder, Eldar. Who use stealth and behind the scenes scheming to do their goals against their foes, Though this mod does include other races and factions to deal with, these ones are your main opponents. Fans of 40k will be right at home with this mod, allowing them to utilize the technology each faction works with. And with the add on playable races mod, you can even roleplay as whatever race you choose. I wonder if there's a space marine chapter who specializes in foxes or chinchillas. So here is a thought. Sometimes you have to banish colonists from your colony for one reason or another. Ever wonder what would happen if other factions did the same? Well, I suppose they might make their own colony with the other poor banished people. Yeah, Faction Blender does this weird idea for me. So now you get two types of factions, ones who are friendly to trade with and ones who want to raid you. Either way, both factions will be composed of people and animals from every mod you have. No, I'm not joking. It's a thing. I rather like this mod for having an enemy that is unpredictable. You don't always know their level of technology and what they could bring. And the more mods you include, that unpredictability will keep rising. Though if you want to get some industrial pre-sci-fi factions, I have to suggest the works from Chicken Plucker, the man of the military. If you want real-world guns and groups, or from video games like Call of Duty or Metal Gear Solid, this is the perfect set of mods for you. Yeah. America! bring freedom to the Rimworld or become a PMC. Doing missions for whoever needs your help actually thought perhaps for a challenge play with Perry Persistent and you have to accept every quest you get. See, see if you can actually do that. that. Yeah, that's a good challenge. Do it. Yeah, all of you do it. Then, then comment how it went. <laughs> in like five days or one day or like an hour however long that you last with with that nastiness right there now what are some of my favorite factions from him well i'd say i enjoy the metal gear solid militaris sans frontiers sorry i butchered the name because who doesn't enjoy some metal gear and i like the doom packs being the doom weapon kit or the uac faction really any mod from chicken plucker is good yep nothing to worry about yeah oh no 
Oh no. Alright, I'll talk about them again. Chicken Plucker has one of the most infamous factions and storytellers, Mr. Void and his faction, whose purpose is to test your defenses and limits. They will be coming, they will not stop, and they will more than likely be the cause of your death. Only use this mod if you feel you can handle anything Rimworld can throw at you. Yeah, definitely the most dangerous of factions. Debatable which is more dangerous, putting my money on Void Faction. <laughs> hey, Bren, come up with a script for a faction versus faction video series if people want to see that. So, that was a lot of fun to talk about, and best part, plenty of other factions we could talk about in the future, so let us know if any more we should bring up in this video gets, let's say, 1,199 likes. Yeah? You just need 1,200 likes. So, yeah, if you want to see more of our lovely videos, click the this video here or about the, uh, the one here there. Yeah, that one. Maybe there's ones you haven't seen. I like the playthrough I'm doing. So much fire and chaos from Phil Swift. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. You probably want to check that one out too. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. And ring the bell. No one rings the bell. Why is like only 1% of you ring the bell? I'm actually complaining right now. Ring the bell. I'm complaining. Do it because I'm complaining. I'm going to keep complaining.